Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario, back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am gonna talk about Dogecoin, my boy, Dogecoin, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna answer a lot of questions. A lot of you guys are probably asking yourself, what is Dogecoin? I heard about it, but I'm not sure. Is it Dogecoin, is it Dogecoin? What's going on with that? Also, what's going on with Dodge 420, Dodge Day? And why is Dogecoin so up, so high up right now? It's going to the moon pretty much. Uh, what is really going on? Because Dogecoin is pretty much over, up over 420% since April 1st. Um, and a lot of people actually mentioned that 420% because of 420. There, there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much talk about this video. So I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video down below. I'm also gonna go over the shark, the technical analysis, uh, the pump and dump, what's really going down, what's really moving. Uh, Dogecoin. So I'm going to answer all those questions in this video. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe down below to this YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys think about cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, etc. on the YouTube comments. Let me share my screen and let's get started. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'm going to first share my uh, my Weeble account. Actually, uh, I do have Dogecoin uh, right there, and I'm going to share you share what's pretty much what was the catalyst behind this move. Because since April 1st, you know, let me, let me zoom in April 1st uh, of this year, you know, Dogecoin is pretty much up over 420%. Insane move. Uh, so I'm going to go over for answer that question first. Why is Dogecoin up so, so much? Uh, and it all has to do with this tweet uh, by Elon Musk on April 1st, which again, remember guys, April 1st is, April, Fool, April Fool's Day, April 1st, April Fool's Day. So, um, I mean, a lot of people could, you know, could say this was a joke, uh, but some, of, some people ran with it and took it far. And, and this is kind of like the catalyst that kind of started the whole Dogecoin going to the moon in the month of, 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 of April. And, and then the 420, I'm going to talk about that in a second. So let's go over this tweet really quick. On April 1st, SpaceX... SpaceX is going to put a literal Dogecoin on the little moon uh, to the moon, pretty much. Is, is, again, to the moon is a phrase used by crypto circles when people do, uh, believe currency is about to rise significantly in price. And of course, uh, who, who was the one who pretty much, uh, uh, what's called, a, uh, sent that tweet? Elon Musk. Elon Musk, pretty much. Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Um, and again, he's probably perhaps the highest profile fan, according to his article, you know, um, Musk, whose tweets have also pushed up the value of stocks, like, for example, GameStop and Etsy, uh, you know, has started maybe some uh, series of Dodge tweets, tweets. So Elon Musk pretty much started everything, you know, so wanted to kind of, you know, bring that up. And, and again, Elon Musk definitely has a connection with, with 420. Um, and I'm going to talk about that in, in, a, in a second, and I'm going to explain why. But Elon Musk, just have that in mind. Elon Musk pretty much was the warrant. And that's the reason why I kind of have this Elon Musk picture right here with uh, Dogecoin, um, you know, kind of in reference to the Lion King. We've all seen that movie. So, all right, going back. So, okay, so now we know uh, that uh, Elon Musk has, was probably one of the, the persons who started the whole, uh, you know, pump you know, as a joke, but again, people started to take it serious. Uh, so again, April 1st, you know, we did see a move, a pretty decent move in uh, Dogecoin. It closed around, it, it was up pretty much on that day, 13%, and it closed around six cents per, per share. And bam, now we're over here at 33%, uh, et cetera. So that's pretty much what started it all. Um, and then what ended up happening, a lot of people started to take it too far. Um, and, and actually, just to kind of go over a quick overview of what Dogecoin is, um, very quickly, for those who don't know, more, don't know about Dogecoin, Dogecoin is pretty much a meme coin. It was created in 2013 as a joke, poking fun at a surge in digital uh, coins such as Bitcoin. Uh, Dogecoin was inspired by the popular dog meme, which offers the image of a uh, Shiba Inu starting staring sideways at the camera with raised eyebrows, according to the website known as me. And that's the reason why this pretty much that picture of the dog right behind me. So uh, that's when it started. So again, it all started as a meme. 
I mean, ever since the, the Dogecoin has skyrocketed more than 5,000% since the start of the year, its market value is around 51 billion, which is pretty insane. Um, and it's, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's, it's more, it has a higher market cap capitalization than auto giant Ford, which sits nearly at 48 billion. So people are starting to, to take it serious now, but in terms of why it started to move and why crypto investors declare 420 is to be Dodge Day and why they're declaring it, it's pretty much a pump, guys. It's a classic pump and dump, a forward-looking statement, uh, a forward-looking statement. Um, just kind of go over, you know, quick definition. Uh, the term forward-looking is, is a business term used to identify predictions about future business conditions, typically with publicly traded companies. In this case, with cryptocurrencies, uh, the term is useful for stockholders, or in this case, crypto investors, who consistently query company management about what they believe will happen in the future so, so that they can buy or sell shares accordingly. So definitely the 420 was a pump. It was a forward-looking statement uh, made by a lot of Reddit or Twitter or social media. There was a pump going on. Uh, there was a pretty much a hashtag, Dodge Day 420 or Dodge 420 or Dodge Day. Uh, so several hashtags were trending on Twitter that led up to the April 20, of course, move. Uh, there was, of course, these, uh, these uh, memes or, or pictures with Elon Musk with, you know, Bitcoin and Dodge and, and a Tesla going to the moon. Because as we all know, guys, um, Elon Musk literally sent a Tesla car, you know, to space. It pretty much probably hovered close to the moon. Uh, so, you know, when he tweeted about sending a literal Dogecoin to the literal moon, you know, hey, people kind of saw that as, hey, this is serious, man. He's already sent the car. You could probably send a, a Dogecoin maybe through a hard wallet, things like that. So, um, you know, like I said, people, you know, ran with this and they took it kind of serious. So there's, here's some like, you know, additional tweets by like Crypto News, Happy Dodge Day, Dodge Day 420, et cetera. Uh, they even made kind of like a little um, Super Mario uh, version of Dogecoin, you know, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty funny. Uh, so this type of stuff started, of course, trend and people started taking it serious, you know. So here's, of course, more. It's 420 and Dogecoin hits, uh, excuse me, uh, let me unclick that. Uh, Dogecoin at... Uh, Dogecoin hit 42 cents earlier today. Currently, it's up 420, 420% in the last seven days. Of course, making poking fun to 420, etc. And then, of course, you have this Elon, um, you know, meme with uh, raising Dogecoin. Of course, reference to to uh, Lion King. So, you know, that's pretty much what happened. So, it's pretty much uh, like I said, it's been a pump. It's definitely a pump. Um, so I kind of wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, it, this is a crazy thing about it, guys, that now companies are, are, are taking advantage of these meme and, and taking it far now to kind of take advantage of these, these trends. So Snickers, one of the companies who kind of also, in a way, promoted this, you know, Snickers, the actual, you know, Snickers bar company, you know. So now we have com companies taking advantage of these trends and these memes and, and making it even crazier. So now guess what? What day it is? Dodge Day. Tomorrow, Dodge Day 420. Not an actual Snickers pack, just a cool Dodge GIF. So, you know, so now you have large companies, which they have a large marketing budget promoting this. Uh, and of course, they got retweeted, you know, and again, 420. So now what I'm going to talk about is the 420, you know. You know, where is this 420 come from? You know, a lot of 4, 420 has been, of course, associated with a marijuana holiday, weed day, you know, where a lot of pot smokers and hippies, they, on 420, they just sit back, relax, and, 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 and smoke. So um, I'm going to go over and how that is connected to Dogecoin because a lot of people don't really see them. How does this connect it? How, how is this? What's really going on? So I pretty much kind of... Um, found a connection and, and I have a pretty good theory about behind it was behind it. Of course, we all know, of course, that 420, you know, what does 420 mean inside the treasure hunt? They launched for April 20 as marijuana holiday. Again, it's been known as a marijuana holiday for a long time based on 
a long history from a long time ago in California, a bunch of, you know, high school students, you know, started to use 420 to kind of reference it to marijuana, you know, back in the day when, you know, cannabis, marijuana, all that kind of stuff was, you know, illegal and stuff like that. So this is where, where this reference comes with uh, Dogecoin and 420. It's pretty much Elon Musk. It comes back to Elon Musk. Elon Musk has a famous meme, you know, when he, when he actually smoked uh, marijuana uh, live or actually on, on the Joe Rogan show and it went viral, you know, and ever since, you know, there's always been that 420 connection and marijuana connection with Elon Musk, you know, so there's actually a, a lot of funny memes right here. So uh, you can even make your own meme with Elon Musk. So uh, you know, who should launch the coronavirus into space? Uh, you know, one small hit for man, one giant puff for mankind, you know, so there's all these meme memes with, with Elon Musk, of course, because of, you know, that, that famous, you know, Joe Rogan show. Um, and now his meme became famous. So of course you got 420 associated with marijuana, Elon Musk associated with marijuana and Elon Musk pumping Dogecoin and voila. You know, you got 420 Dodge Day, you know? So, you know, that's where this comes from. Dodge Day 420. Again, forward-looking statement and everything. So, um, you know, wanted to mention, guys, that, you know, even though, um, you know, Dodge Coin has been, you know, tweeted or tweeted by those companies and even uh, Elon Musk, as a joke on April 1st, April Fool's Day, you gotta keep in mind, guys, this is pretty much a pump and dump. And right now the SEC uh, does not have any regulations, any jurisdiction over cryptocurrencies. So that's the reason why even now companies like the sneakers company are now taking advantage of these memes, advantage of these trends, and they're just capitalizing on it. <clears throat> but again, at the same time, um, it encourages other people to buy Dogecoin uh, but again, buyer beware, because this is literally a pump and dump. I mean, is 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 a, is a, is a, is a classic pump and dump, in which is very commonly seen in penny stocks. I mean, if you look at Dogecoin, it pretty much looks like a classic penny stock. You know, five cents, it's going up from six cents to all the way to like 43 or, 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 or 60 cents. I mean, it's kind of an insane move, you know. So uh, I kind of going to want to go back to the chart um, and... and um, and let me see, actually, uh, let me, and the, yeah, let me, sh let me start sharing the screen again. So I want to kind of go back to the chart and this is pretty much what a pump and dump looks like. You know, there's this huge pump. Everybody's promoting it. Everybody's promoting. There's a forward looking date today being 420. Today is a forward looking date. Uh, and usually on the forward looking date is kind of like a buy the rumor, sell the news, you know, usually on the day of the forward-looking event, which is today Dodge Day or 420, that's when everybody dumps it. The unfortunate part is that a lot of people were promoting it and they were trying to pump Dogecoin to a dollar. So that's the unfortunate part. They were trying to pump it to a dollar. So, you know, it's unfortunate because a lot of people may end up getting hurt because uh, they end up, may end up buying too late. And instead of going to a dollar, now you can see Dogecoin is pretty much down 20%. You know, uh, and it's, it's a fortunate for those who bought late because they're getting sold into. And then you have a lot of insiders who own a large percentage of Dogecoin who are probably cashing in right now. And which is very fortunate for, for a lot of people. So, um, so let me kind of go over this. Uh, yeah, here's the article right here. So Dogecoin astonished, Dogecoin's uh, astonishing surge in the past week has been amazing enough, but now proponents of the cryptocurrency are promoting a celebratory holiday, Dodge Day, for the money that no one was meant to take seriously. Advocates are hoping to see Dogecoin hit a dollar on April 20. So again, everything was promoting and pumping in to try to go to $1. Unfortunately, again, forward-looking events usually don't work like that. Usually on the day of the event, it's pretty much sell the news. Buy the rumor, sell the news, uh, which creates, it's kind of like a liquidity event where people just start dumping and, and taking profits. So, you know, so in my thoughts on, on, on Dogecoin, you know, I want to go over my thoughts on Dogecoin. Now, 
this is a classic, again, like I say, classic pump and dump. You know, the people who got in early during the, maybe on April 1st, when uh, Elon Musk first tweeted and, and, and kind of made that, um, you know, uh, made that uh, April Fool's joke on, on sending Dogecoin to the little moon. Those people are the ones that probably cashed in right now. But not only that, but uh, there's a lot of large uh, concentration of Dogecoin in like a, in certain wallets that those people are the real ones who, who are taking advantage of it. So for a lot of those guys who are investors in cryptocurrencies, you have to be very, very careful. Buyer beware, guys. Uh, you know, cryptocurrencies are, again, they're not regulated. So it's very easy for anybody to tweet about it, talk about it, and not worry about any, you know, uh, you know, lawsuits and things like that, or, you know, or, or, or any SEC regulations, you know, or SEC, you know, hitting on them, you know, or coming down on them, things like that. So wanted to quickly mention that, guys. So I hope this video makes sense to you guys. Let me know down in the YouTube description what you guys think about Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to this YouTube channel. I do post uh, videos about stocks, cryptocurrencies, anything that's moving uh, during the week. So I hope you guys can learn more about this information. Now, again, all these videos are for learning, entertainment purposes only. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys. Bye.